Dr. Kevin, thanks. We are working with some very good bread in Cook's Corner today. We're joined by Benji and Broji from Benji's Breads. Uh, thanks for coming in. I appreciate oh, it. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. Which, by the way, it smells wonderful. Tell me a little bit. I, I don't know anything about Benji's Breads. What's that sure. all about? Sure. So, so um, uh, I bake bread, yep. uh, obviously, yep. and uh, one of my products is this uh, a baguette. And this is a good example of, of what makes a good loaf of bread. And a couple things to look for in a loaf of bread. One is you want to look at these ears, these sort of flaps that come up from the scores in the bread. Okay. They should be fairly pronounced. Um, you should see different colors in the bread. You've got some lighter colors where the score opened. You've got sort of the golden brown of the loaf, and you've also got some darker spots. And that indicates that the bread has been baked fully, baked oh, properly. Nice. Okay, didn't know that. All right. Another thing you want when you cut into the bread, you want to see sort of an open, what they call an open crumb, which is some nice holes in the bread as well as uh, you know as well as the finer holes. Okay, about two minutes. And that makes it gives it gives it that kind of um, nice texture. Uh, and and the, the key, you know, as you said, it's a very simple recipe. You know, cheese toast, melting cheese on cheese bread. Well, could be simple. Yeah, okay. But the key is good ingredients, good bread, uh, and then also good cheese. Uh, today I've got some uh, Cabot uh, cheddar, uh, aged cheddar. It's yep. very tasty. And then also an Alpine Gouda from Benedict Dairy right here in Goffstown. So oh, nice. there's, okay. there's lots of natural lo uh, local ingredients that are very good. Um, and you can get breads uh, both at the Manchester Community Market on Thursdays, yep. um, but also other uh, farmers markets around town. And there's a number of bakers like myself that do these uh, sorts of markets. To make the cheese toast, you're going to put that in our pan there? Very simple. Just put some line bread, it up, but line it up, line it up. There. Okay. These are, uh, it's like to slice the bread reasonably thin, about a half an inch thick, um, and then just put some pieces of cheese on. I think my kids would attack this thing, by the way. Oh, they, they would it, love it, it yeah. It's, it's very popular, kids and adults alike. And then all you need to do is pop it in the oven about 350 degrees um, for five to eight minutes, something okay. like that. And then what I like to do at the end is turn on the broiler. Um, and that will get some nice intense heat on top of the bread. And you see this has sort of all these little bubbles that came up, and sometimes you'll get a nice little bit of browning on top of the bread, and that really adds some extra flavor. You now, people want to try it. They say, I want to try some of that bread. Where do they find you again? So at the Manchester Community Market, yep. it's on Thursdays from 3 to 6.30. Um, I'm there, and there's a lot of other great vendors there selling all sorts of fruits and vegetables and yeah. even some non-food items, um, uh, cupcakes, you name it, uh, you can get it at the market. Uh, sometimes my wife and I will just say, we're going to make dinner from food from the market. We just oh, nice. go down and buy what we can and, and come home and, and make something with it. All it's right, really Benji, fun. thank you very much. I appreciate it. Benji's Great Breads to be here. smells very nice in here. That does it for us.